In my over 20 years of research in nitric oxide and traveling the globe and giving over 200 lectures uh, around the world, there's a couple of things that have become very apparent to me. So we're all getting older, there's no doubt. There's really nothing we can do about that. But the one thing we can do about it is how we age. And so people don't mind getting older per se, they just don't wanna feel old or look old. And so I think that's where nitric oxide becomes really an important part of this conversation because it's recognized now that when you lose the ability to make and produce nitric oxide in the human body, that's when aging really starts. So we live in this world of anti-aging medicine where you try to reverse the effects of aging or the symptoms of aging or really age-related disease. And there's three predominant hypotheses or theories around aging. Number one is the telomeres, the ends of the DNA or the ends of the chromosomes that with each cell division, they get shorter and shorter. And so the shorter your telomeres, the shorter the lifespan. The longer the telomeres, the longer the lifespan. So that's one. There's technologies developed uh, targeted towards uh, telomere shortening or preventing telomere shortening. And then number two is mitochondrial dysfunction. So the mitochondria are the organelles of the cell that generate energy. So every single age-related chronic disease has some uh, characteristics of mitochondrial dysfunction, meaning that the mitochondria, there's less mitochondria generating less ATP less efficiently. So obviously, if you can affect mitochondrial function, you can change uh, the energetics of the cell and the function of that particular organ. And then the third is in stem cells, our own resident stem cells that are mobilized and differentiate and basically repair tissue, replace old cells to new functional cells. And so obviously, in this age of regenerative medicine, there's a number of technologies developed toward stem cells, whether it's deployment of your own stem cells or exogenous stem cells. But here's what people don't realize, that nitric oxide is, controls and regulates both telomerase activity, the enzyme that prevents telomere shortening. Nitric oxide is what controls and regulates mitochondrial function, as well as the number of mitochondria, what we call mitochondrial biogenesis. And nitric oxide is required, nitric oxide is the actual signal that tells our stem cells to mobilize and differentiate. So this is what I call the unified theory of aging, and it really evolves around nitric oxide. So if you want to prevent telomere shortening, if you want to fix mitochondrial dysfunction and you want to enhance your own body's ability to mobilize their own stem cells and repair tissue, you can't do that until you fix nitric oxide production pathways. And so that's really the true essence of what nitric oxide does. Uh, again, every single chronic disease is characterized by decreased blood flow, decreased oxygen, nutrient delivery. So if you think about this, it makes perfect sense that if the cells can't get the oxygen and the nutrients and the raw material they need to make a new cell that works properly, then those cells and tissues and organs fail. And that's the basis for every single human age-related chronic disease. So if you want to age gracefully and you want to live a quality of life without the signs of aging, whether it's cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, vascular dementia, sexual dysfunction, diabetes, you cannot overcome those conditions without first restoring the production of nitric oxide. And fortunately, in my 20 years, we've, we understand now how the human body makes nitric oxide. We understand at the cellular and molecular level of what goes wrong in the nitric oxide production pathways. And we have technology now to fix that. So there should be no excuse on people have, with advanced aging or the signs of aging because there's technologies to diagnose nitric oxide deficiency and most importantly, we now have technology to fix the underlying problem of insufficient nitric oxide production.